Hello, you beautiful beings of love and light. Have you taken your personal yoga practice to a point where you know what you're doing, you're feeling good about it, and you're following YouTube videos, but there's something in your practice that you're missing. You find that you can't get to advanced postures and you really don't know what you're doing or not doing that will get you to that next level. There is no feedback loop on YouTube. <laughs> the majority of my clients come to me because they realize that there's something bigger, right? There's a, there's a larger purpose, there's more energy that they want to be able to access because they see it in yogis like me, right? They see this clarity, this sense of peace, this power over our own lives and this conscious awareness of how to direct our energy, when to use it and what to do to achieve what we want in our lives. So if you're at that place where, yeah, I watch YouTube videos and don't get me wrong, I love YouTube. If you're doing yoga with Adrian, if you're watching my coaching videos on YouTube, um, these are all wonderful things to build that foundation for your awareness of what are posture names and what are the chakras and what energies am I using. But where that is halted or where you really have to struggle to go further is having someone be a witness to your actual process, right? Having a coach watch you to tell them what you are experiencing and not only how do I get into advanced postures, how do I build myself and what a lot of people say is I can't really push myself when it's just me, not that you should push yourself, but when it's just me, I don't do the things that are challenging, right? And this, this is natural. We all tend to do habitual things that feel really good and there's nothing at all wrong with that. But if you're also seeking to grow more, to get beyond challenges so that you can actually do things in your life that you've been meaning to do but haven't been able to because your energy is not right, right? These things aren't aligning, something's not matching up. This is the power that you can derive from your yoga practice. There are specific asanas and pranayamas that you can do for your specific energy, the energy of your Ayurvedic doshas, to launch you, to help support you, to give you the very specific kind of blast into the universe that you need to be able to do what you want to be doing. So for example, if you are a kapha, high kapha energy is earth and water. It makes mud, it gets us stuck. I am a high kapha, but I've learned that what I need in my practice is to get really active, to jump, to get inverted. And these are oftentimes the things that are, that are the most challenging specifically for your specific dosha. So jumping around and doing really active things is not what a kapha likes to do, right? Kapha likes to do restorative and yin practices so they can just sink in and be like mud, be like their element, right? Ooze around and maybe that, that mud and, and water or that earth and water gets kind of dried in the sun and you get stuck there. So if that's a feeling that you're experiencing, right, I'm stuck here, then you want to do practices and breath work that will bring your energy up from your lower chakras into your fire, your pitta energy, your fire and water that create steam, that make, that lift you, that activate you up and out of that place of stuckness, that dry up all the water. So then you got loose earth and then add fire to it, right? Burn it so that you're like up in flames, ready to go, take action on the things in your life. This is just an example for kapha dosha, but there are similar actions, asanas and pranayamas that you can do for vata and pitta dosha as well. So what is the pain that you're experiencing, right? Because all of us suffer. 
Suffering is a, is a given in life. We will experience pain, but depending on the specific area of your pain, there is yoga that you can do to kind of treat or address that specific energy in you and get you to the next phase, where you want to go. This is coaching, right? We identify, where do I want to be? What's getting in my way? And if you're already doing a yoga practice, beautiful because your yoga practice can be utilized to your advantage to support you fully in moving towards those goals so instead of i do the same yoga with adrian every time or i do a different video of hers these are beautiful they're wonderful they all have different you know there's many different themes that you can go to and you can repeat them it's wonderful i'm not saying to stop them i'm just saying if you're seeking that little bit more right like there's something beyond this that i'm just not getting just by nature of you're watching a video the video can't see you it can't give you an assist or tell you hey you're not really extending your spine all that long right you're really opened up here you're not drawing your tailbone forward and your ribs down so you're not allowing the breath to flow fully through your spine right you're like stuck and crunched over and you could really extend through that side body and again create more of a deeper channel for your breath to flow as i watch you as we go through a customized sequence for you i can make those tiny adjustments and it's all if you like watching videos it's all on video it's all on zoom call anyway so there's nothing that you can't experience in a zoom call that you could experience with me being right next to you, except sometimes the feeling of touch. But the beauty of that is you learn to rely on your own touch, right? I can describe to you what I would do. Grab the, the side of your rib and gently pull it around to the side and see how that feels to assist yourself. This is how we ingrain this spirit or this feeling of self-love in the body. We create anchors to embody the practice so that you learn to trust and rely on yourself to be doing this. Not the class, not the YouTube video, not even the teacher, right? I kind of shoot myself in the foot with this, but I don't want you to have to work with me forever. I want to work with you for as long as you need to launch you into that next phase, right? Like a bird in a nest. I'm like the mama bird. I'm going to give you what you need. I'm going to bring you all the nutrients and all of the, the tools and the, the learning and the wisdom so that you can fly on your own, right? And start to develop your own practice and follow your own intuition because there's other baby birds that need that help, <laughs> right? So this is an all call for baby birds <laughs> who are just learning how to fly, right? You have all the foundations, your wings have grown, you have all your feathers, your muscles are developing, you know what you're doing, you know, right? We eat worms, we eat worms. Okay, I gotta go find worms. But then maybe you don't need worms today, right? Maybe you need to go find water, so we need to find ways in which to teach you how to find the different energies that you need for today what are you seeking so if you feel like you're at that place that like plateau in your practice where you want to really go just go to the next level i can help you with that one percent or two percent more of whatever it is that you can shift into to start bringing in energy that you're really wanting to create in your life and with coaching, a lot of times that's, I want to be spending more time with my, my creative energy, with painting or drawing or, or pottery, but I'm not giving myself the time. So we can totally work with energy within an asana practice. That's what this stuff is designed for. Asana is designed to get you into a meditation and you can use the different energies to bring in what you are trying to achieve even if it's not meditation right if it's like i want to be able to run a marathon great your yoga practice can get you towards that can assist and support you in getting you there so if any of this resonates with you please reach out to me yoga is not just exercise right yoga is not just getting into handstand if i can or headstand it's about staying with the practice, but also not just staying in the same thing forever. 
It's using the types of practices, the types of asana that will support you the best in going where you want to go next. Otherwise, we're just stagnating, right? We're just staying where we are, doing the same thing over and over all the time. What does that lead to? Insanity, <laughs> right? Doing the same thing and expecting a different result. We can't stay in the same space. We have to shift, we have to move. That's why we use asana. That's why we lift ourselves up with our breath and use our exhales to fall forward. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. And if really, if you have questions about what can I do in my own personal practice to help get me to this point? And if you don't know what that is, but you know, I want something more, right? I really want this to be I want to be able to feel that energy. You know, you see me all ecstatic and happy and, um, you know, meditating for half hours at a time. It really brings me a lot of peace. So maybe like meditation is that next step for you. Maybe doing some arm balances or standing balances are that thing for you. I'm a, con I'm a dedicated, compassionate witness to your process with 22 years of experience in knowing what you need to get you to that next level. If you want to be the change, let me help to support you in getting yourself to that shift, that change in your practice so that you can open up a whole new world for yourself in your life. Yeah? <laughs> Thanks so much for watching once again. If you would like this type of support, I do holistic self-love yoga coaching. So we do a hybrid of coaching which is empowering you to set your goals, how you want to spend your time, what you want in your life, what that means to you, what that's going to bring you when you get it, how you're going to hold yourself accountable, what baby steps are you going to take along the way, and how you're going to celebrate and reward yourself when you do get there. Right? And we go through this. We have all four areas of our holistic health, mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual. So we can help you connect to your spirit self to really guide what your purpose is in this life. What are you meant to be doing? And how do you activate that energy to get you there? Let's get you there! And then we use yoga and meditation and pranayama for the physical aspects of it, for the connecting to spirit for the calming the emotions, for the settling of the mind and observing it. <laughs> Reach out to me, babes. It's all good. Whatever you're afraid of, we can just talk about it. It's just a conversation, right? I love you, but it's more important that you love you. So what's it going to take? What's that next little step that's going to get you from where you are now to loving yourself 1% more fully? If you feel like it's through a yoga practice and through coaching, please reach out to me. We'll get you there. I promise. I love you.